guys, we've got a quick video to show you a quick way of, of obviously installing the stainless steel hose kit that we sell here at Essex Rotary. I know a lot of people get confused as to routing the hoses and which way they should go, so we thought it'd be an ideal opportunity to put a, a video together while we're installing these on a customer's car. So to start with, this front hose here, the one you can see which is labelled as engine, this comes off of the front cover just before, below the air conditioning pump and actually runs out to the oil cooler on this way, runs out to the oil cooler on the left hand side of the car, so that's the passenger side on the right hand drive UK car. From there you've got a link hose which you can just see here, this is the link hose here that runs across from the left hand drive cooler across to the right hand drive cooler and then you've also got the other hose which runs back over to, you can just see it under here, runs over to the oil stand where the oil filter is located at the back there. Okay so we're on the left hand side of the car now, the first thing to note is that the, the routing of this cable it goes over the oil cooler hoses I know some people get it mixed up and end up getting it stuck behind which once it's hooked up it's not fun to obviously fix. The outer hose on the oil cooler here runs up, it's this top hose here you can see it runs over and it, that's the one that runs down to the engine block on the front so that's the outlet on the oil pump of the engine and that runs to the, the outer oil cooler on the left hand side. The inner connector or the inner hose that's the link hose which joins the left and the right side cooler. Hey guys so this is the right hand side of the car this one here the one that enters the outside of the oil cooler this is your link hose so this comes from the left hand oil cooler the top hose which routes over the top here and to the inside of the oil cooler that one that's the oil hose which goes to the back of the engine block so where the oil filter is located make sure you route the cable in this case this one here behind these oil cooler lines on the right hand side which is different to the left but yeah that's where it goes once you put the, the under tray on it'll all become apparent. The final thing to look at is how the hoses are actually routed in the engine bay so this one over the top here that's tied to the AC line this one's the one that comes from the oil stand at the back and goes off to the right hand oil cooler this goes over the top of the AC line which is here you can see it's routed underneath this one's the one which comes under just here comes off of the front of the block and goes to the oil cooler. It is worth noting they all run over the anti-roll bar so it is worth um, keeping an eye on that. You can sometimes people have tried squeezing them underneath um, it's the anti-roll bar here people have tried, tried squeezing them underneath and it doesn't work once you've got the the under tray reinstalled. Um, the last one's the link hose which just literally links one to the other. There we go that's the link hose there that runs from one oil cooler across to the other as you can see next to the hose which runs from the oil stand. That should cover off most of what you need to know guys.